This video is going to be a little bit more in depth for rates, so or creating rates. So let's go to admin and let's go ahead and start by making adjustments to the rates that we already have. So I'm going to go ahead and click on double bed. If I want to add rates to the months, I can just click on them and they'll turn green and I can choose the price that I want for them and hit apply. Now if I want to change the minimum stay, as you can see my mouse goes over it, you can see minimum stay zero, I don't have minimum stay, um, then I have to match the rate to the ones that I want minimum stay. So here I have a hundred and I would have to put minimum stay, let's say two, I want a minimum stay of two. Then I would have to hit apply. Unfortunately, you can't just highlight it and it'll stay the same rate and then hit the minimum stay because if I do that, if I, if I have zero, it'll clear it out to all zero and give me a minimum stay and it won't keep the rates that are already there. So unfortunately, I can hit clear if I want to start over. I have to go according to the rate. So this one's 200. I'm going to go ahead and put 200 in here and put the minimum stay, say, 2. Now, the good news is, is you don't have to put this in. You can just click. It says 300. I can just change this to 3, hit apply. But the bad news is I have to go over my rates. So it's really important that when you do your initial setup that you, in your initial rates, you want to set the minimum stay. All right, so let's go down over here. This is yield management. We have a video on this. Uh, anytime you need a video on anything, you can always just go to YouTube and search uh, Ingenious or InConnect, depending on what system you want information on, and then list whatever it is, like uh, yield management. If you put Ingenious Yield Management, the video will pop up. If you Click, uh, if you click on YouTube, Ingenious Room Types, or search in the box, Ingenious Room Types, it'll show you how to create uh, room types. So real easy to find on YouTube, or you can always just subscribe and watch all our videos as they come out, um, or you can just keep your playlist somewhere handy. So right here is a room to, to, uh, types. This will tell you what room types you want this rate to apply to. If you want all of them, you select all. If you don't, you just select the one that you want. So this room type is double bed. I'm going to assign it to double bed. Channels, if I click on this, it's going to say inconnect.com. If you are hooked up to my allocator, it's going to say some other channels. So you that will already be set up by my allocator when you hook up to my allocator. Taxes. Uh, these are the taxes that I created. If you need to know, I'm going to say, let's say sales tax applies to this. Um, if, if you need to know how to create taxes, just in the YouTube search box, Ingenious Taxes, it'll pull up how to create taxes. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out for now. Uh, Second and third, this is for second, third adults and children. If you want to charge for children, I will say standard usually includes two people. So usually people skip the second second person and add maybe $10 for the third, $10 for the fourth, and so on. The priority over here, if I click on top, this will always come up on my front desk as the highest priority. So um, if it's normal, it, it'll just show up along with everything else. So if you set these accordingly, like let's say I have a discount, I create a discount, then I'll probably want to set it at a low so I don't just automatically uh, get the discount in if I don't want it. Or I can set it at high if I want the discount to be applied everything for a time being. So let's go ahead and go on over to other rates. I'm going to click OK. Now there is also um, there is also a video 
on how to create a duplicate rate. If I have this highlighted, it's a double bed. I can click on it and it's already going to show me double bed and it's got a duplicate rate here. So I can play with it or just say I wanted the same rate for another room type or however. So I'm going to close that out. Drive, this is a discount. This is also, there's another video on how to do it and you'll just set up your discount for whatever uh, room type that you want. Now I don't have anything set, that's why it's giving me an error. Now let's just say I want to create a brand new rate, I'm just going to click on add right here. And then you can just put in whatever you want and click on the months. You can also click Friday and Saturday. This will make the weekends go faster. So really what people do is usually a good way to do it is click the months first for Monday through Friday. And say, if you're making a new rate, say, okay, I want 300 during Monday through Friday, but on Friday and Saturdays, I want it to be 500. So, and I could continue this. There's two more Friday and Saturdays, but I don't want to bore you to death. Let's go ahead and hit 500. And that's that's a quick way of just doing the, the uh, weekends versus the um, Monday through Friday or Sunday through Thursday. Also, you can hold over a uh, day left click and drag and that'll select them that way so several ways to put in your rates that are quite easy um, so you can go ahead and select the priority also let's say after a while I don't want this to be on my front desk anymore I can disable it by unclicking enabled and that will take it off from the rates. So let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. Mm, double bed and what else do I have? I think I have single room right now so I'm going to click these. Now I can, this, this, if we're doing this holiday special most likely we're not going to want to send it to the channels. We want to send out, uh, we want to create a new special on the channels. Uh, this could be just for the front desk, but this is just for sending it out to your booking engine, which will send it out everywhere. You can choose it if you want. So, and I'll just hit apply to so get that out of the way. All right, so I set it at normal. Let me go ahead and, and set it at top priority so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to go over to front desk and make a test reservation. Now over here it's top priority so it automatically comes up. If the other one that's the regular rate is down here. So if I don't want it to automatically come up then I would put low priority on it. Kind of made it backwards because holiday special, that's not really holiday special when it's like four times as much. So, pretty easy. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. If you want to see something else that I might have missed, uh, please let me know and I'll include it.